Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my new channel. This is General Stefito. So this channel is all about general stuff I do. And, um, you know, it's kind of upsetting that these numbers, John Hopkins puts up coronavirus, COVID, global cases uh, by the CDC. Okay, all right. So total confirmed 652,000 have been affected with a population on the planet of 7.1 billion, 30,000 deaths, total recovered 137,000. Does the media have to go into this big panic? Look at this, off the CDC site. CDC estimates from October 1, 2019 through March 2020, 38 million people to 54 million got the flu. These numbers aren't right. What I'm saying is, why aren't they panicking over the 38 million? Okay, 17 million to 25 million medical visits. Uh, 390,000 to 710,000 hospitalized, 23,000 to 59,000 deaths, and a population of the United States of 325 million. And yet, all this panic. Something's not right. All right, there's that. Now, then there's this event 201. Go look this up. They were running practices for this global pandemic exercise weeks before it actually broke out. They knew it was going to happen. Now look here. CDC. They were hiring for the quarantine program back in 11, 15, 2019. 51,000 to 93,000 per year. And all these states... Florida, San Diego, California. Look at this. Okay. And open period. Okay. Till May. So they expect this thing to end, I guess, in May. Or maybe I got that wrong. Anyway, I'm getting prepared. All right. These crazy ass people are taking food off the shelves and I'm going to I'm going to survive. So what I'm doing is I got a rack system here. This rack system uh, I got this at the Home Dipstick, and uh, this is uh, NSF certified. And I really wanted the other wire type, that, this uh, like chrome over the uh, blows. They have it, but uh, anyway, I was at the Home Dipstick, and here, here we go. So I put the rack system together, and our lights finally came in. These are 5500K LED lights. Uh, we bought uh, eight of them, so we're going to have four different shelves. And the plan here is I've got eight bins that we got also at the home dipstick. Now, I wanted bins that were uh, that, that had some kind of coating where you couldn't have light come in. So, uh, I didn't want to drive all over town, so I got these, and I'm going to cover them with black plastic to uh, get the seeds going. And uh, so we're going to grow ourselves some microgreens. We're going to grow our own food right here. And the great thing is you can harvest it in 7 to 10 days. So we ordered uh, from Mountain Valley Seed Company. Uh, I've got radish here. So we're going to try that. So seven to ten days, we'll be eating uh, microgreens, radishes, uh, pea sprouting. Man, I hope that's going to be good. Uh, what else do we have here? Basic salad mix. I don't know what that is. And then we got argula. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a. This is a start, and then we'll order different seeds as we go along, and we'll experiment with it. But supposedly, with the microgreen system, yeah, you plant the seeds, uh, they take a couple days to sprout, uh, you put them under the lights, and seven to ten days later, you got some of the most nutritious food on the planet. It's way more nutritious than uh, stuff you buy in the store. And I also looked it up, a lot of these have a lot of zinc in it. And so the zinc is going to be good to fight uh, viruses. Uh, so you can take zinc supplements if you'd like. But why not eat it? Why not fill your belly with that? Okay, so let's get started with this. Um, here's my bin that I've got. The first one I'm going to do. So, again, the idea that we have here is we're going to do one bin per day. And we'll just keep rotating them. That way we always have some food. So every single day... We can harvest this. All right. So this is our bin. I measured it out. And I can get eight uh, coconut. Oh, by the way, this is coconut 
uh, husks, and they're weaved together. And we got a giant roll. It's 36 inches by probably 25 feet, I would imagine. And so I've cut these up. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you, this was a bitch to cut. This is like a half inch thick. I should have got something like, uh, I don't know, quarter inch. But it was a bitch to cut, man. So they're going to lay down like this. As you can see, they fit rather nicely. And they're not going to be perfectly sized. Okay, like that. Now, from my research on the internet, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to elevate that. Okay, so what I did was I got some PEX piping, and I'm, I'm sure I bought this at the Home Dipstick as well. And we're going to lay this down to elevate it so that we can have the water down there. Okay. All right. Then, now this PEX piping is super cheap. On another channel, they were saying use bamboo. So I was hunting all over the place for bamboo. Uh, you know, uh, my my boy said, hey, why don't we go grow some bamboo? But that's just a nightmare. And then, uh, of course, your neighbors will probably sue you if it creeps in their yard. But, um, so, I got the uh, half-inch PEX pipe. I cut 32 pieces. That's going to be four pieces for each bend. Um, we'll put our coconut husks in. Like so. All right. And this will be my, this will be like batch one. And of course, I'm going to try to order some more seeds, some different seeds. All right, like yay. All right, now I'm no expert at this, but I'm about to become one. Okay, so we can um, open up the um, pea sprouts, I guess. Let's see, basic salad mix. Let's do basic salad mix. Alrighty. So, from what I saw on the internet, you take this and you sprinkle this on your pads. And I'm not doing a good job making it even. Alright, look at that. Some of it's getting down in the water. I'm kind of wasting my seeds there. Alright, right there. And let's see, I got four. Yeah, let's do two pads. So, this has a whole bunch of different stuff in it, I guess. Alright, there we go, look at that, kind of looking forward to the, uh, to the radishes, it looks good online, alright, I think that'll work, and this is what, a one pound bag, yeah, this is a one pound bag, now, I don't know what we paid for this, um, I have to ask money bags, uh, how much we paid for this, and, uh, also, and again, this came from Mountain Valley Seed. Now, I went online. They have some pretty good seeds, evidently. And peas. Pea sprouts. I don't know whether this is going to be any good. Look how big they are. I don't know whether that's even any good for microgreens. I got a feeling. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have done those. How long is that going to take to grow? <laughs> okay. They look like blueberries. All right, oh, I'm looking forward to the radish. I, I love radish anyway, but supposedly the taste in this is way better than eating a regular radish. Okay, so these are the radishes. Look at that. Now, I don't know whether I got like a mixture of radish or is it all just like all red radishes, purple? I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, I have to go ask money bags about that. And uh, there we go. Look at that. I'll cheat and throw some there. Yeah. All right. What else do we have here? That's three varieties. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I got to do another one, don't I? Yeah, I only got four different types of seeds. All right. All right. Throw those guys right there. Right there. Yeah, I think those peas the wrong kind of uh, seeds to be growing for this. I don't know why she picked those. Hmm. I'm going to have to throw those outside. Get a big pea farm going. Alright. 
All right, now we got this lettuce. So, oh, I'm gonna fill these three pads up with the lettuce. Okay. Oh, those are really tiny. Oh, this is kind of going downhill, isn't it? All right. Ah, look at that. Oh man, I'm wasting some. You know, I'm gonna have to invent a way to distribute these evenly. So they don't waste so much. But then again, maybe they'll grow in the water. All right. Oh, look at that. Making a big mess. All right. Now, this is the first time I've ever done this. And we got a garden outside. I'll show you guys later in another video that we've got going. So, but I like this, the idea of this indoor stuff. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. Throw some over here. There we go. Kind of mix it up. All right. Okay. I'll throw those guys right there. So now I've got to uh, get my hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Some hydro. Hydro peroxide. And they say spray this all over it. This is going to help get them going. I guess it gives them some oxygen and I guess it'll help get them started and I haven't really figured out how I'm gonna get water in there I should have got the water in there first hmm I know I'll just pick one of the pads up carefully and uh, I'll pour the water in and I don't know whether I'm putting enough or too much all right so who knew hydrogen peroxide would be good to get these things going. All right. Yeah, you spray this on your other plants, on the leaves. Uh, you you got to go like five to one ratio on the leaves, and then you go, I think it's 50-50 water and hydrogen peroxide for the roots. And uh, evidently plants love it. Okay. All right. Look at that. Get it nice and soaked. Okay. Now, if you got arthritis, this all the squeezing might hurt. But the cool thing is, think about it. You can grow your own food in your house. Don't have to go down to the market and have people cough all over you and sneeze. Yeah, you don't have to have people fighting over toilet paper, right, in front of you while you're trying to check out with some food. Oh, yeah. So, I'm liking this. Yeah, we've got an orange tree out back. We've got a lemon tree, a peach tree. We just started an apple. we got 16 chickens. All because of this cabron virus. Cabron. Cabron, in Spanish, is bastard. I think, I think this uh, thing quit on me. Uh, up, up. Yeah, it might have quit. Oh, let's spin it around. Okay, so that's probably enough. All right. All right, let's put that aside. And I got to get a lid. So when you buy these containers, the lids come with them. Don't forget to get your lids. All right, so whoa, I got to put my water in. All right, let's see, water. So, so yeah, we started saving up our jugs. So this is a milk jug that came from uh, Pubix. And uh, after we drank the milk, we cleaned it out. And now we've got... Um, a spare jug so let me get this um let me get this dude over here real carefully look at that all right now i gotta put some water in now hopefully hopefully this will do it if not i'll have to go back and get some more water but yeah we knew this was going to come and uh we actually started preparing for this early on we were getting Tons of toilet paper before anybody else. We were getting tons of water, saving it up, and then all of a sudden, people started fighting over the toilet paper. Little did they know, we were the guys that went and got it first. That's okay. Uh, I hope that's going to be right. No, I've got to put more. Hmm. Hmm. Is that going to get wet? That one's got to get wet. It should get wet. 
Okay. That's a gallon. Oh, I'm stuck. All right. All right. Well, I hope that's going to be enough. I think it is. All right. All right. Yeah, that's got the mat. So evidently that mat's just going to suck up all the water. And then um, we got to get the... Um, i got to get a bag under there. Oh, yeah, i got to get a bag under there. Well, mm. so anyway, they came with, these, these lights came with us on fancy clips. And I've got no wood to screw them into. And you just clip it right in place, right? So, yeah, hey, it's me, General Stefito, okay? Uh, I'm a building contractor. This is what I do. I build stuff. So I use tie wire. Tie wire is one of the most useful things to have. And people should always have tie wire and duct tape. Always have tie wire and duct tape. I mean, tie wire and duct tape is the answer to every single problem, okay? So if you've got a mouthy little kid, tie wire and duct tape. You be creative. Okay, so um, I'm going to put the lid on. I've got to put this bag under it, so I'm going to have to get somebody to help me pick this up. Or, or I'm going to have to tape it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put these 32, no, 24. How many do I have? 4, 20, 30, 28. All right. Put those guys down here. All right. Now, since this is water pipe for houses, it's got to be germ-free, I would imagine. Um, okay, so let me go get someone to help me pick this up. And then, Okay, so then we're going to put a lid on this guy right here. Put a guy, put a, put a little guy, all right, right there, cover that up, and, uh, you know, and, uh, well, we can check it tomorrow, and then two days later, we're supposed to take the lid off and put it under the lights. Let's see how this works. So, I'm in survival mode. I'm going to beat this carbone virus. All right, um, well, hey, if you like what you saw, give a thumbs up, subscribe, we got a lot more coming. I mean, I'm a building guy. I build everything. I invent stuff. It's what I do. Uh, I think you're going to like it. All right. We'll see you next time around. Later.